Hey, it's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. Mike Gervin from Excel is fun. will be joining us. This is episode 59, Sorted Summary. All right, hey, great question here. Let's say that you have data like this, survey results about a new uh, soda pop, and you want to create this report showing how many times each answer is given. But here's the hard part. It has to be in this sequence. Oh, until the it has to be in this sequence, it was going to be very easy. Insert, pivot table, OK. You know, and then what do we have to do? We just have to take that field and put it in row labels and also take that field and put it down in some values. Because it's text, we automatically get the count. But see this? It shows up not in the right sequence. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to delete this pivot table temporarily. We're going to go back to a spreadsheet where we have the categories in the order that they need to be. I'm going to create a custom list from that. Uh, custom list, Excel 2003, Tools, Options, go to the 6th tab along the bottom, Excel 2007. Hit the Office button, go to Excel Options, it's right there in the center of the page. Excel 2010, hit the File button, go down to Options, go to Advanced, and then start to look. It's somewhere down here. I can hardly ever find it. Why they keep moving this thing around, I have no idea. There it is, almost near the bottom, Edit Custom Lists. All right, so there's my list. It's selected A2 to A6, A2 to A6, import, bam, now it understands excellent, good, like, not like, bad, as well as it understands Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You see that I've added a few other ones here, like A, B, C, D, E, F, that allows me to fill that. Okay, now that we have that custom list set up, we only have to set it up once on this computer, uh, then we can go back to our data, and again, insert, pivot table, OK, survey results to row labels, survey results to some values. Ah, oh, check that out. Because the custom list is there, it automatically respects our list and we have the answers. They wanted the word frequency here. Easy enough to do. We'll just go to Active Field and call that Frequency. There we go. Press Enter. Nice, beautiful, awesome. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. <laughs> Pivot table, custom list, totally awesome. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> That's the winner. Hey, uh, custom list. I, I still, just like you, Mr. Excel, I can't believe how many times they've moved it. Why don't they just decide on some place and keep it? Hey, uh, let's go ahead and look over here. Now, I guess one way to do this is we could go, since we have an, a list over here, categories, uh, Mr. Excel did the custom list. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a define name to do this. Now, I want to name this categories, and since there's a name right here, I'm going to highlight the name and then the range I want that name to, to represent. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift F3. Control Shift F3. And it says, hey, your name is in the top row. Everything below will be, will um, have the name categories. I'm going to click OK. I can quickly check it. I can name box, point to the drop down, and then see if categories. Sure enough, I select it and it highlights it. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy this, Control C, Control V. And then I, I know that there's five categories, so I'm going to highlight one, two, three, four, five cells, type an equal sign, and then I'm going to hit the F3 key. And that's Paste Name. And then I'm going to go ahead and double click Categories, and I'm going to use Control Shift and Enter. Okay. That allows me to put that name in the same order as that other shift sheet. You can see it's got the name entered as an array, those little curly brackets or Excel uh, telling you that it understands that this is an array. When I do Control Shift Enter, that's me telling Excel it's an array. So really, Control Shift Enter, I'm telling Excel, curly brackets, Excel's telling me. Now I can just come over here, Frequency. Control Asterisk to highlight that whole table if I want some borders, uh, maybe some color right here. Control B, and now I can just use count if. Count if. Count if what? Well, here's the range. Click there. Control Shift Down Arrow F4 to lock it and jump the screen back in view. Comma, and the criteria will be one cell to my left, relative cell reference. Actually, I don't need to put that closed parenthesis, just Control Enter. That was an extra uh, key I didn't have to hit, and then double click and send it down. And sure enough, uh, we have our labels in the right order, our count if formula. Wow, not like wins. <laughs> Bad is pretty right up there, like. Not very many people thought this was great. All right, uh, I'll throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, all right, Mike, that was good, the count if function. You know, the thing that I love, and I'm sure the people who watch this all the time, 
you have you have speak cells on enter turned on all the time, don't you? It always catches me. You're talking, you're doing something, and you hear the computer say frequency. <laughs> That's cool. I, I I think it would drive me crazy after a while, um, but I uh, I'm guessing you have it on, or at least you have it turned on for the dueling Excel podcast. Hard to say. So hey, hope everyone has a great uh, holiday season here. Um, we'll see you next time for another dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun. <laughs>